and welcome to an e-demo on the configuration of failover in Video Edge 4.7. In version 4.7, the MVR Group's feature and failover have been combined, and the failover architecture has changed from N to 1 to N to 2. What this means then is that we can now have 14 Video Edge in a group. Of those 14, 12 can be primary NVRs that are being monitored for failure, and 2 can be secondary NVRs which are doing that monitoring. Okay, so if we just take a look then at how we can configure that, and first of all I'm just going to sign in as an administrator and I'm going to open up the NVR groups menu which is under devices here and you'll see that currently we have no devices configured in our group so what I'm going to do then is select the discovered NVRs tab and go ahead and see if we can discover any other video edges on our network and you can see there that I have three I'm just going to go ahead choose this bottom one add it to my group by choosing plus Okay, so now we have a pop-up that's prompting us to choose a network card on this local video edge to add to the group. If we just expand that drop-down out, you will also see that the name of it is listed there. And that's because in 4.7, the NVR Group's failover feature supports fully qualified domain names as well as IP addresses. I'm going to choose my management network there and choose save. And we're going to go ahead and add both of those to the group. So that is the local NVR and the one that we have discovered on the network. Okay, so we just move over to my NVR groups list tab again. I'm going to see we have some video edges listed there. And they're listed in the non failover NVRs table. And the reason for that is that these video edges have not yet been configured for failover, but they are part of a group, so they are being used for sharing of transcoding resources. What I'm going to do now is just configure their failover options and first of all I'm going to configure the one I want to act as my primary and if I just select the edit icon next to it I'm just going to choose primary from the failover role drop down there and I now need to just select the camera network address and finally I need to put the virtual address in there. This virtual address must be in the same subnet as the management network and what it does is enable seamless search and retrieve of video even if failover has been initiated. With that done then I can just choose save and you'll see that that video edge has moved over into the primary MVRs table. So that means I need to now configure a secondary MVR and again I'm just going to choose the edit icon next to the one I want to be the secondary only this time I'm going to choose secondary from the failover role drop down and I now have a priorities to select if I choose number one, this will be the first recorder to step in when failover takes place. If I choose two, it will be the second recorder. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose one. And then I can go ahead and save. And that recorder will move over into the secondary NVRs table. And I now have failover configured, so if the recorder that's set to primary fails, the secondary recorder will step in and continue recording.